Hello world and welcome back to another episode of the Intelligence Let's Hack. Now last time I tried something with with uh, the Get Users SPN and I didn't find anything. Now I'm trying to get the Labs password mainly because the challenge. Oh no, this was the other password, the other challenge. Okay, so I thought this challenge said something about Labs. Apparently, it doesn't so let's just go back to it and try the other thing that i was thinking about because i was reading this um, payload cheat sheet on how to dump passwords and we have another option uh, mainly using the msa dumper now what the hell is an msa sounds like a group managed service account so this sounds like a service account that is managed via group policies or something like that in Linux, uh, Windows. I'm not entirely a Windows guy if you haven't, if, if it wasn't obvious by now. So let's get this script into our hacking suite. So wget, let's add a ch mode x to the g msa dumper pi. And let's try this. Why not? There is nothing to lose here except valuable time. So let's get this down here so we can change the user to be the correct one. Let me find the correct one. The user is Ted Graves. So let's paste it in here. Then we have the password which is Mr. Teddy. And then we have the domain, which is intelligence HTB. And we have prepared our command. So let's grab this and paste it in here and let it run. Invalid server address. Okay, do I have to add the IP somewhere? Does anybody in the chat know if I have to add the IP somewhere? Or if I'm doing it incorrectly. Let's consult the help like, like we were supposed to do from the start. But first let me skip this song. This sounds kind of annoying. All right. Okay. We have Dome and we have the LDAP server. Okay. Of course. Let's set the LDAP server to be cat target IP and now it should work. Someone. Oh, we got something. We got service int. So let's just copy this. And let's say get service account ticket. Is this the ticket? Let's see what does extract anti hash from the active directory. And then what does this one say? Reads any GMSA password blobs the user can access and parses the value. All right. Okay. Now we have a hash. Yeah, I, I tried the lab stomper, but for some reason that didn't work. Well, actually, let's try it. Maybe this could also help to become local admin. I don't know. As said, Windows is not exactly my strong suit when it comes to infrastructure. I'm more of a Linux guy. What do we need here? We need the same commands so let's take this let's go in here into our scratch pad if you want so <laughs> and i think we can just copy paste all of this in here and maybe i forgot the u and add the l in here as well so let's get this maybe we find something more with this maybe a what's happening Okay, pip, reinstall 
Final Tap 3. All right, it tells me requirement already satisfied. Okay, so maybe let's just do pip2 install l.3. I'm not, never sure how I'm supposed to run these tools. Maybe I should read the readme. It's probably gonna tell me which version. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's run it with Python 3. Maybe that's gonna work. You never know. I hate this about, this is the fact I hate about Python. Okay, so it doesn't seem to work at all, but we got something in here. It looks like a hash. So let's grab this, paste it somewhere into a file. Service int hash. And then let's just run John word list. And instead of captured NTLM, that we do the svc in hash and now we hope that it's in there okay ah oh, come on let's show it if we found something nope we didn't find anything with the rock UTXC, which is kind of weird because that usually works. <laughs> so now what am I supposed to do? All my tools don't work and the rock UTXC didn't have no results. So back to the drawing board, I guess. Now, I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the golden ticket we were trying to get. Not sure if we can perform this golden ticket again and attack. Maybe I should try, maybe I should try some without a word list and just brute force it. Let's see if we can that, if we can do that easily, just like this. Okay, now it's, it's, it's running. Wait, I, I made a video about this. John brute force. There is, there is a way to set it to brute force. So let's search for brute. Come on, what the hell? What was that sound? That didn't sound healthy. Yeah, it looks like this is supposed to be the brute force. Somewhere along, come on. I knew how to use that one year ago. <laughs> Why can't I use it anymore? My memory is so spotty all the time. That's why I usually have cheat sheets. Okay, let's do the incremental mode, whatever that means. Oh, it's, it's running incremental. So I think I'm gonna let this one run for a while. And then I'm going to come back to you guys and we will see if we found something or if we have to do it any other way. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.